Welcome back to the to the the Misfit of Demon King Academy anime review episode number sixteen. Yes, sixteen. It has been a while since basically I have gone through this one. Yeah, it has been some time. Like, if you're really curious, how long has it been? since I think like the last time I could think of was probably back in October seems like it's been a long a while I'd say probably like July-ish was probably like the last time I can think of. No, actually it wasn't July. I think it was like October, I think it was. We're trying to find a single hill. Here we go. Let's try this one here. Okay, it has been, wow, not since November, so it's been six months since we left off, basically, with the end of Core 1. Yes. Now, this did resume just last month. <clears throat> I was waiting for the dub, that's the reason why this took a while. So, we started off with, a, kind of, we left off last time. We have Avio, of... Uh, where he's talking to the, the god of creation, this beautiful woman, where chat with her a while, and then we have a seven year time skip where, <clears throat> like he mentioned about his sister, want to know more about her, and then the sequence ends with basically him where he apparently met her sister and reading her, giving her a letter. And then he wakes up and he goes to dinner and he goes to breakfast with Misha and his mom. Yep, and. And I'm like, okay, time to wake up Sasha. Yeah, he's currently a demon king now. They already had a samurai. So, he's going to attend school. So, he comes with a genius idea how to still attend school, despite the fact he's been revealed, publicly revealed as the demon king of tyranny. Make himself a six-year-old, which he did before in the previous season of the show. Idol's Porsche. That's a six-year-old child genius. And, of course, some new curriculum. Well, one of the evil kings is basically one of the instructors, along with, believe it or not, Shin, obviously his right-hand man as an instructor. Yes, the leader of the Unitarians is, in fact, basically his daughter. And, of course, then the whole thing about sword training, and then we had this funny sequence where, very interesting, very tense one, where you have, you have basically the reincarnated hero, and his girlfriend's father basically duking out. And, like, apparently, like, like you read the room, like, I read the sword play. Apparently, he wants to pose to her. And he's like, no, I don't want to do it just yet. And, like, and when he finishes up, it's like, if you can beat me, you, you, you can be with her. <laughs> yeah, that's my step step forward. And then we see Otis, where he basically, he, take, he takes on a fellow student who he suspects might be a member of the Royals. The Royals, this particular group, want to kind of go back to the way things were. He apparently doesn't like the equal stuff per se. So, after defeating him and reviving him, he basically arranges to meet with him. Yeah, and then of course he tries to uh, kind of introduce him to the leader. And like, oh, can you tame this dragon so we can attack the people? He's like, he tries to, and then he just unleashes it. And eventually the monster destroyed. And then eventually he reveals, oh yeah, he's actually the human king. Which he easily beats them. Yes, he easily beats them. Before I continue here, I gotta point out though. My gosh. Standard Japanese anime and their CGI is te still terrible. My gosh, this is horrible. You had six months to work on this episode. And you came up with this. The rest of the animation is perfectly fine this episode. But my gosh, that dragon looks horrible. I've seen barely looking dragons in other anime. Come on, studio. 
So then expect somebody else who might be outside, maybe maybe potential protagonist. And oh, of course, Crash Grant. And then we cut to the Demon King's palace. He's in his throne room. First time we've seen it since. Oh, by the way, uh, when I think it was uh, uh, basically Shane's daughter when she. They expect she might be going back to her persona from the previous season of the show for the first, free previous core. Well, basically that kind of evilness is gone, basically true power. So, then we see Amelia. Yes, Amelia. First time in a while since I've seen her. <clears throat> I think she'd be a feature last episode. She is not like the fact she basically is very... She's like on the verge of like dying because she's basically a half-breed now. So... Basically, Abios wants to serve as a teacher, but it's going to be at the Hero Academy. Which, of course, apparently the humans have lost all trust in the Human Academy, and apparently the students are running amok there, and he sends her there, and basically, if he can have control, he will promote her to the Back to Demon King Academy, and to a position equal to the Seven Demon King, the Seven Demon Elders. Yep. But she's like, she's a demon. Oh, don't worry about it. It's perfectly fine. And she goes off like all about salvation and saving her. And that's kind of the episode in a nutshell. I'm glad this is back. Though it does add to my schedule. Now, I can confirm this. This is basically going to be 12 episodes. So, next episode air on Friday. Which means after the very next episode, there's going to be about 10 episodes left to go. And then that's pretty much it. Do I... Now, this season will end before that Democrats line will. Yes, given the fact a lot of my anime right now are getting close to wrapping up. So, we're probably going to have very long for some, some of these ones. Well, right now, anyways, the next definitive anime is wrapping up is going to be Martian Magic Muscles. Yep. That'd be up, yep. Not this weekend, but next one. Yep. So yeah, that's particularly a particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, to notifications, and do the dislike button. If you're curious, do I like the fact Rina Kabaka is another is basically bringing back another character she's previously voiced? Yes, I am very happy the fact this is back, and the fact she's back basically voicing her character again. All right, next up we have is the comic corner, and it's on the Black Butler, where with that one, when I chance to watch that episode, I'll be down for four, down to three anime left. Okay, next video. Bye.